Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. In this session, we will understand about payment wizard process. Payment wizard. The payment wizard enables you to create outgoing and incoming payments in batches for bank transfer, checks, and bills of exchange. The payments are created according to your selection criteria and payment methods. The main functions of payment wizard covers all of your incoming transfer payments outgoing checks and bank transfer payments it also covers the AP and the AR documents and transaction that are not your fully paid the run also covers payments on account that are not allocated or reconciled to specific transactions in the payment wizard payments are created according to your selection criteria and payment methods the graphic shows the steps of the payment wizard first each run of payment wizard is identified by a payment run name and the date of the payment run. Then you specify several selection criteria such as general parameters where you mention date of next plan payment run, type that is outgoing or incoming, your payment means that can be check or bank transfer and the other document series that is used to create the payment documents. Next step is where you select the business partners for your payment run the business partners that system checks for invoice due including expanded selection criteria etc the selection criteria for documents that the system includes such as date ranges and other things as well and the last step is where the payment methods that are used in the payment run that you've mentioned so based on all these steps and the selection criteria the system creates a recommendation report or a list of suggested payment. You can either choose to accept this recommendation or reject the recommendations. After all is said, you can execute the run and your next run can be either based on the previous run or altogether you can define new parameter. The payment wizard is found in banking as payment wizard. The payment wizard enables you to generate incoming and outgoing payments in batches as bank transfer checks or bills of exchange. This is the step 1 where you mention the payment run selection. Here you have two steps or two options that you can choose. You can start a new run or you can load a saved run. For payment runs with saved selection criteria and recommendation, the report displays the payment run name, the date on which the selection criteria was done and the recommendation report that were saved. To understand the payment wizard, we will start with a new run. This is the second step that is known as general parameters you specify a name for the payment run you specify the date for the payment run you can even specify the date for the next payment run you can check the options that you like to include in this run here you define the general parameter that will define how your next step would react to you can specify the payment type to be created by the payment run you can specify the payment type and you can proceed forth This is the step 3 where you mention your business partner. This step is where you choose your business partner. You can choose from the whole range including vendors and the customers. This run will though exclude the business partner that have zero balance and the business partner that have no open document that is in payment requests. The fourth step is the document parameter step. Here some of the options will only appear when you select the outgoing checkbox in the payment wizard that is in step 2. Let us understand these fields quickly. There is posting date ranging from date from and to. You can specify a posting date range to include the AP transaction or manual general entries that you want to. Then there is a due date from and to where you can specify the due date range to include AP transaction or manual general entries. 
the third option here we can see is Trollen days where you can specify the number of days to adjust the due date range of EP transactions then there is minimum cash discount percentage which helps you to specify what is the minimum cash discount percentage that you want to give in the AP transactions then there is a document date range where you specify a document date range to include AP transaction and mandatory entries balance due which helps you to specify the balance due range to include the AP transaction or manual general entries. This stands same for the AR transaction as well. The fifth step is the payment method selection. This step lists all the payment methods that you match the selection criteria. The payment methods are grouped first by GL account links to their house bank accounts and then by their payment types. Next step is where the system generates a recommendation report and then you can save the options you can save selection criteria only and do nothing you can save the recommendations you can execute the payment order run or you can just execute the payment run when I say next the system asks me whether I want to continue or not in the next session we will understand about outgoing payments. Thank you.